Well, here we are in Western Colorado, right above the Colorado River down there. What an amazing camping spot. And we have been out on our first trip here for seven nights with the James Baroud rooftop tent. And I'm just gonna go through some of the things we like and don't like about it. Overall, it's an amazing uh, gadget to have camping. Yes, it's pricey, but it's really revolutionized our camping um, with its pros and cons. So let me step you through a few things. Opening it up is a breeze. Super easy, takes uh, under a minute really to open the tent. And that's changed the way we camp. We can be hiking out for the whole day and not worry so much as uh, finding a camp spot before dark and having to worry about setting up poles in the dark. This thing, you can literally set it up in the dark. It's been a new moon on this trip. And I set it up without a flashlight in the dark. Easy peasy, no problem. Now, we keep two blankets inside, a down comforter and a regular blanket, plus our pillows, and we have two ladders stored inside of it right now. Um, it, the overall weight of it when we're driving down the highway, uh, you can feel it, there is a little bit of wind noise, but overall totally manageable uh, and worth it once we get here. Uh, we just pop the tent and all of our bedding is inside of it. So this is the inside view of the Evasion XXL model. It's uh, quite spacious. It's um, I can put the dimensions on the screen But I'm tall Six foot four. So this has been just the right amount of length It comes with a an LED light works pretty well um, And then we've got the the vent fan over here now I was talking about these these doors, they are completely waterproof and they've got ventilation windows here that work, you know, easily. But at the bottom, we just have Velcro. This Velcro is what, you know, sticks here. Um, and you see there's big openings that can happen. Um, it's a little bit of a pain. I'm not sure why they didn't put a zipper down there. Probably just out of convenience and to make it folding up easier. I'm um, talking about folding up the tent. The first thing we do is, um, these are the struts that hold hold the tent up and we um, you know make them tall when we set up the camp tent now when we're we're gonna close it I generally close all the windows and then break it like that just pull it forward and that gets the collapsing process started the windows I do about halfway uh, I mean the doors and I make sure that they're they're all closed like this one's open So just the velcro tabs um, And then I make sure I close them about halfway um, Then all of the bedding I want to make sure it's away from the edge um, We did add an extra inch of uh, Memory foam here on top of their mattress and we found it's just a little more comfortable with that extra padding but in terms of closing up, um, I've got to break these struts, uh, close, close up the windows. Same over here. Yeah, um, this is the first trip and it's been, it's been so cold. So we've been sleeping with all the windows all closed up. And so the view from our tent, not too bad. So at first I close the front latches, uh, the driver's side first, make sure everything tucks in above the braces, tuck in the front uh, canvas of the tent. Then we move to the sides, fold those in and uh, work it to close each of the rear latches. Um, again, not latching them all the way, just connecting them at first to have a little bit of flex so we can still tuck in any fabric that might be showing. Um, this is difficult for my wife to do, virtually impossible to close the tent by herself. It does take some muscle, and sometimes I uh, have to climb literally on top of it to give it a little nudge to close it. Um, however, having uh, slept with it for seven nights, it's gotten much easier. It's definitely a skill you learn, and now I can close it by myself in a matter of a couple of minutes. Um, we have moved away from using the provided ladder and we like instead to use a telescoping ladder I got on Amazon for not very much. Um, it do, has got some dirt in it already having difficulty opening and closing it with all this you know red Colorado and Utah, Utah dirt. Uh, it's messing up the ladder a little bit. 
but um, the one en exit entry um, up the back of the Jeep, we found that to work pretty well with these front runner roof rack ladder clips. Um, they um, are doing a great job just holding it in place. It's still, uh, it's not as attached as the provided ladder, but it still feels really secure to us. Um, we climb up head first, and when we exit, uh, we go down feet first, facing out, um, and just kind of butt scooch down the ladder. Um, we both have gotten used to that. That's one of the biggest drawbacks I would say with this tent is going to the bathroom in the middle of the night can be a little tricky. So you have to um, unzip it, un velcro the bottom, which is pretty easy, although it is loud, and then uh, butt scooch down the ladder. So it is a skill that we've learned to do, and the more we use it, it's not really a big deal to get up in the middle of the night anymore. Okay, so let's talk about this ladder. It does work. However, there's no latch here. I mean, it's not locking at all. So it's totally dependent on how it's secure on the ground. Now, in this case, on the rock, um, the way it's angled, it's pretty steady. Um, and it's pretty stable here at the top. These lock in side to side. So that does give you some confidence. However, in some scenarios, uh, this this will just slide under your under your weight. And it, it ends up banging against the Jeep right there. Um, uh, sometimes we just leave it like that. We just leave it touching the Jeep and we, we climb vertically up into the tent. That's the most secure way with this included ladder. We also really like this front runner shovel mount kit. It's super easy to take the shovel on and off the car. Essential item, back, backcountry equipment. Um, this tab just uh, loosens it. You can pull it, pull it off. I don't know if I can do it with one hand. Um, and then, then this uh, latch uh, tightens it. So another nice product. Uh, this was difficult to install um, because the clearance here is very, very tight with the XXL. Um, we wish the tent was a little bit more narrow in the same length. Um, it would make installing these accessories easier. And now for my favorite attachment here, there is a bottle opener. It works, works well. Cheers. So in general, the James Brood Evasion XXL tent is an excellent buy for us. It is costly. Um, so you have to want to be camping a lot in it to make it worth your time. Otherwise, a tent is going to be much more budget-minded option. Um, but for us, we camp quite a bit, and this provides us a lot of convenience to just grab our stuff. Uh, we've got all organized, grab it and go. Um, be out camping that night, set up tent wherever we want. We don't have to worry about how the ground is, if it's rocky, um, or soggy or wet. We did survive a good rainstorm in it uh, with some high winds and it just did a fantastic job. We were very comfortable in it. Um, kept us nice and warm even at freezing temperatures, no problem whatsoever. So big thumbs up. We love the James Brood Evasion rooftop tent. Uh, rooftop tents in general, uh, it's just a really cool way to go. I like sleeping up high. It's like being in a fort in the woods. Um, it's just a unique experience and a lot of convenience. So check them out.